Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be going over a few things with my listing. We're going to be talking about the preview card and we're going to talk about how to add listings to your home page um, using the listing feed element with Elementor. So let's go ahead and dive in. So we are going to go under listing tools and then listing types. From there let's go ahead and pick a, a listing type. So I'm going to go ahead and pick place. All right, so we have all of our settings for this listing type right here on this one page. Uh, we're going to go ahead and navigate to preview card. From there, we have quite a few options. So we have the preview card, and we also have a quick view. So let's start with the preview card. A preview card, we have a few options over here underneath of the design. So we have alternate and default, and you can see that there's two different design styles for each one of those and I'll show you guys how to go ahead and choose these later on for the background we can go ahead and pick image or gallery so whichever we want if we have the gallery it'll go ahead and allow us to navigate using these arrows on the sides so that we can go ahead and flip through the images so we have those we have the heading buttons up here so right now we want to show the listing rating and work hours we can go ahead and just have these right here. Let me show you real quick. I will add a button, click on this, go to use field and we'll do the rating. So we'll go ahead and do listing rating and then we'll have the field right there. We'll also have our work hours. So add a new one, click use field, go to work hours and it'll show the field right there. So that's how we can go ahead and add those. We can add more buttons up here if we wish. So we can do a email, we can do phone number or website, things like that. So we can go ahead and add those as we wish. We can do the same thing with the title, underneath of the title where we can have our fields. We can go ahead and add a field here, click on the field, open it up, and we can use whichever field we want to use here. So if we have, uh, let's see, we can put our email down here and we can also do our phone number so that we have our contact information down here. We have the footer sections. So this is the footer section underneath this dashed line. So we have categories. So there's a few different options here with terms. What we can do is we can show our categories and then we can actually have buttons so that they can bookmark and quick view. And those will show up over here underneath of the um, the dash line as well. So you can always have those. And let me show you guys how to do this. So there's only a few different options here. So we have actions. The actions are what I just mentioned. So we can do the bookmark and quick view. So those are the only things that will show up. And if you want to do categories and things like that, you would just click terms and hit add. And from there, you would click on bookmark and quick view. And then you can select your your terms if you want to do your tags, your regions, or your categories. Other options are authors, so you can say who the author is, and of course we get those buttons as well. So, and then we also have some details, so we could add the details, and then we can have a bookmark and quick view, and then from here we can add more details, such as any of our options that we have here. So this is similar to what the single listing does, with the details where you can add multiple details here. So let's go ahead and stick with terms. Bookmark and quick view. So we have those here. Everything's all set up nice and neat for the alternate. We can go ahead and set the default and we can have the same thing here. So we'll have all of this, this is what it would look like for the default. And then all of these settings that we just did will transfer over to the default and the alternate. So they'll both be sharing the same buttons. Let's go ahead and update this real quick. And then we'll come back to the preview card. Underneath of the quick view, we have a few different options as well. We have the abilities to do different templates and different skin maps. So this over here in the pink section is where all the information for the listing is going to be. And over here, this is where the skin is going to be. I'm sorry, the map is going to be. So if we do default and alternate, we do a split view to where this solid pink is going to be the image. And then this is where the information is going to be for the listing. Same thing here. Solid pink is the image, listing information below it, map over here on the right hand side. 
Now you see when we click alternate, there's no map option and that's because it completely gets rid of the map option. If you wanna have the map, go ahead and pick the default and have your own map skin here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this once again. All right, so on our homepage, we have a great looking homepage. We have our featured places and it's using the same card that we just designed underneath of our preview. So we have the work hours, things of that nature. And then if we hover, we have our phone number and our location. So we have those options here. We also have the options of over here showing the alternate view. So it's an alternate view, but it still contains all of the same information for this. So let's go ahead and show you how we went ahead and built this. Inside of our Elementor, we have our two sections set up here, our feature places and the explore places. So for the feature places, we want to keep this as a carousel. So we're going to go ahead and add this as a carousel. We're going to type in listing feed. So right here, it's going to be the listing feed by 27. And click and drag that right in here. So from here, we have our um, the listing feed for these places. So we want to go ahead and switch this over to carousel. Number of items show six. Right now, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and filter this by place. And then we have our alternate view right here because that's what we have chosen underneath of our listing type. We have the alternate view chosen here. If we switch this to default, it will go ahead and change it to make it look like that. Okay, so we have this here and we have this full width by doing the section and having this as full width and then no gap here. So we have this section right here. Let's go to the latest places. So we're gonna go ahead and do this again. Go to listing feed, drag that into there. This time we're gonna do a grid because we don't have the edge to edge as the, for the carousel. So we wanna go ahead and do this. We can order by date because we want this to be the most recent and we want to ascend. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we can also filter this by place. So we can go ahead and have our grid view here. We'll have a carousel view here. If we had more than two listings, we can go ahead and show you that. Uh, and then we have, like I said, we have our grid view down here for the explore places. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.